like a good smoker. <laughs> Take a drag. They say the devil comes in many disguises, and when it comes to TV, that couldn't be more true. I'll give someone eternal youth, then have them sentenced to life imprisonment. That sort of thing. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV devils. Stay away from me. For this list, we found the most memorable and original portrayals of the Lord of the Underworld. <sighs> Number 10, Lucifer, Supernatural. Sorry if it's a bit chilly. Most people think I burn hot. It's actually quite the opposite. Well, I'll alert the media. The Winchesters face many supernatural creatures, but they met their match with Lucifer. Even before he was officially on the show, viewers learned Lucifer was responsible for many problems the brothers fought in earlier seasons. With all that buildup, viewers expected him to be pure evil. You better kill me now. Or I swear, I will find a way to kill you. But once he landed on Earth thanks to the breaking of the 66 seals, Lucifer's character was revealed to be a mixture of sadness, sympathy, and humor. You know why God cast me down? Because I loved him more than anything. Number 9. Him, the Powerpuff Girls. Him may have a distinctly masculine name but his appearance is often on the feminine side. Case in point, the thigh-high boots and short skirt. How did the Powerpuff Girls humiliate you? So completely. This immortal monster has something against the Powerpuff Girls and tries to create discord in their sisterhood. Well, I love it when you girls fight. I think you should fight more often. In fact, he's so evil, Him's true name is never even spoken. This is a villain so evil, so sinister, so horribly vile, that even the utterance of his name strikes fear into the hearts of men. But it's clear he's powerful given his numerous abilities, which include being able to alter his size, spit acid, and use mind control. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go and destroy the world. Warm it up for you, chicken! Number eight, the red guy, cow and chicken. Hello! It's me, the devil! Is one of the catchphrases of the most eccentric devil on our list. Also, I'm naked. The red guy has many quirky characteristics, like sliding on his butt to get around. Follow me! And talking in strange voices. Ooh, cow's kind of a big guy. His key goal is to kill cow and chicken, or at least to trick them into doing something dumb. The rules say they gotta do something bad before you can take him down here. The problem! I'll offer him cigarette. He's not the smartest guy himself, but he's a master of disguise and has pulled one over on them from time to time. You think this is okay? He is an orthodontic police officer. Number seven, the beast, Doctor Who. In a show full of weird happenings, the Beast is still a memorable character. I was so angry. It was fury and rage and death. It was him. It was the devil. Looking somewhat human in form, but with the power to possess people through electronic media, the Beast was safely trapped on Crop Tor for billions of years. Open the prison, the gravity field collapses. This planet falls into the black hole. You escape, you die. Brilliant! That is, until one of its most memorable moments, when it possessed Toby Zed in an attempt to escape. Hey, Rose, do us a favor. Shut up. Luckily, this didn't last long, and the beast was vanquished down a black hole. Go to hell. Number six, Mephistopheles, Saturday Night Live. The situation you are about to see is real. The people are not actors. They are actual litigants in cases filed in a California municipal court. SNL has created some great characters over the years, and the people's court devil is one that stands out. You, watching this at home, worship me. I command you, become my willing thralls and live me. 
Finally! That's all for this edition of the People's Court. John Lovitz embodied the character of Mephistopheles, who made bargains with people who wanted mundane things. She sold her immortal soul to the devil in return for success in her hairdressing business. In one skit, a hairdresser tries to get out of her deal with the Dark Lord, since she didn't understand the language of the contract. Now, I'm telling you, she doesn't understand words like immortality or a soul. Since Lovitz's time, the show has had both Will Ferrell and Jason Sudeikis portray the devil as well. I'm the devil! What you see is what you get, okay? I rock the cape. I got the horns. I got the big salad fork. All right? You know me. Number five, Satan, South Park. Oh, God, my head. I drank too much. Chris? Leave it to this show to do the utterly ridiculous and sacrilegious. This golden PSP is king of all PSPs. Hail the holy PSP! Matt Stone and Trey Parker depict the devil as a big, red, bull-like creature who's out to wreak havoc on South Park. Voiced by Parker, he's a schemer with a gentle side and a great singing voice. Oh, and he's also a hopeless romantic who's had a share of memorable lovers, most notably Saddam Hussein. How come you always want to make love to me from behind? Is it because you want to pretend I'm somebody else? Satan, your ass is gigantic and red. Who am I going to pretend you are? Liza Minnelli? You know what? This Satan's basically a big softie in gym shorts. Oh, that sounds great, but uh, I really gotta go. Well, he seemed like a nice fellow. Yes. Number four, the devil, also known as Jerry Belvedere, Reaper. <laughs> wow. Neat. In a show about the Devil's Reapers, you'd expect the Devil to be the ultimate kingpin of hell. Quite a show, huh? You killed him. Yep. Why did you have to kill them? Well, they were sort of trying to kill me, Sam. Portrayed by Ray Wise, Reaper's Devil is a smooth-talking dude, reminiscent of a gangster in his three-piece suit. Now, I let her out of hell, Sam. I set her up in this house, got her a good job, showered her with affection, and still... It's a matter of honor, Sammy. Despite his human appearance, he has teleportation abilities and superhuman strength. There have been multiple attempts to bring him down, but his only real weakness is his love of ice cream, which melts when he touches it. Wow. A little departing gift from old so-and-so. He knew how much I loved ice cream, jerk. Number three, Killer Bob, Twin Peaks. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Perhaps the creepiest entry on our list, Bob is more of a demonic spirit. <laughs> Coming from an alternate plane called Black Lodge, he comes to Twin Peaks often to possess unassuming residents, which makes Bob an exciting character since you never know when he'll show up. Or as who. Oh, look at this. Don't. Oh. Is it from a lover? A few other strange Bob facts, he shapeshifts and travels as an owl, and feeds on the negative feelings of humans called Garmin Boja, which look like creamed corn. Bob requires a human host. He feeds on fear. Hmm. Who's that goat-legged fellow? I like the cut of his jib. Number two. Prince of Darkness, sir. He's your 11 o'clock. Ned Flanders, The Simpsons. What's Flanders! You're the devil? <laughs> it's always the one you least suspect. After Homer says he'll sell his soul for a donut, the devil appears as the Simpsons' squeaky clean neighborino, Ned Flanders. Just sign here. Careful, hot pen. When Homer fails to uphold his end of the bargain, he's sent to hell, where Flanders tortures him within an inch of his life. <laughs> well, sort of. <laughs> I don't understand it. James Coco went mad in 15 minutes. Viewers get a kick out of seeing the mild-mannered Flanders show an angry side and triple in size when enraged. Behold the last deadly ass room of Ned Flanders' hell house. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I'm not evil, Marceline's dad. I'm super good. Super good? <laughs> what are you doing? Stealing your soul. We don't have to be friends or we don't have to be enemies. You are the enemy. I'm not the enemy. I'm the alternative. Once again, I am free to smite the world as I did in days long past. I want to know your name. 
I have so many names. More than I can even remember myself. But the one the Creator gave me... is Lucifer. No! <laughs> Number one, Robot Devil, Futurama. Who would have thought hell would really exist and that it would be in New Jersey? Actually, also known as Beelzebot, this devil presides over robot hell, the pit of punishment for robots who've sinned. Greetings, Bender. Welcome to robot hell. He's over the top as they come, a fan of gambling, and gets a kick out of coming up with degrading punishments. Cigars are evil, you won't miss them. We'll find ways to simulate that smell. What a sorry fella, rolled up and smoked like a panicella. Here on level one of robot hell. As Robot Devil can pretty much do anything, it's not unusual to see him producing fire from his hand at will. But his best talents have to be playing the gold fiddle and his girly scream. Time for the drum solo. <laughs> do you agree with our list? It's standard. I'm the devil. Which TV devil do you find most fiendish? For more monstrous top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Thanks, God. I forgot how clear you make things sometimes. It was nice to see you again, Satan. You too. Goodbye. <laughs>